I'm shocked from the fact that some popular musicians have acted in the movies in general and they turn out to be very bad. Let's talk today about six such musicians that turn out to be disgusting, ridiculous actors being very nice, outstanding musicians. Definitely a cool rapper and good father, but an average actor. I have a lot of respect for Eminem, but he mixed up his role in the music video and his role in the movie. He played a role of Jimmy Smith in the movie 8 Mile, but he didn't stand out as anything special. In fact, his entire performance on camera looked like a big rapper's music video, which is not what is required of an actor. It should be seen more as a failed experience that didn't appeal to a large and sensitive audience. It happens, if you've been writing rap music all your life, you can become an actor that easily. That's something you have to learn to do. It's very important if you write the rap all your life and don't do anything else, then it's hard to be an actor because you need to have some courses or some skills and they don't burn like that. You should learn it. Yes, the king of rock and roll once decided to participate in movie, pay attention just for a profit. It seems that he didn't have money. Yeah, the king of rock and roll doesn't have money for a life. That's why he decided to take part in some average cinemas. <sighs> he took part in such movies as Fall the Dream, Little Galahad. All these movies were created solely to make money. Simple, frankly stupid plot, some romance, songs and exotic location. And the actor's performance didn't inspire much emotions. In fact, Presley was just a face. Some were overplayed, some were lacked skill, and all this led to the fact that Elvis Presley was talked about as a musician, although perhaps his charisma were not opened enough, who knows. Is it customer to say in these situations, it's better to write songs, sing them, than to play roles in movies. Her maximum disgusting role was in the 2009 movie Obsession, which earned the actress a maximum nomination for the Golden Raspberry, a highly sought after award. Probably only the singer's name allowed her not to get the first place in a rather dubious nomination. <laughs> Although people say her music videos are good, you bet so much money to invest and you will be popular, but it seemed to be it doesn't work like that. The singer also had a role in the Pink Panther 2006. The role came out much better, but in general nothing outstanding, just an average role. So, but no nomination to Pink Raspberry is success. By the way, I also want to try myself in uh, cinemas. And do you really think that I can be an evil actor, some evil role in some horror movies? Brrr. Share your comments down there. Oh yeah, everyone knows her as a singer, producer, director, author of books and general phenomenon of the world culture, in general jack of all traits. She also decided to become an actress, but it didn't work out very well, to put it mildly. Okay, who am I lying to? That was ridiculous. That was f***ing shit. It sucked. Many people call her the worst actress of the 20th century. Moreover, she has such nomination. And there are some reasons of it. Beyonce has never dreamed of such success. It's not everyone who can win the Golden Raspberry Award for eight times. She took part in different movies in which she pretended to be a good actress. To me, I can't even imagine anything more brilliant, that's why she should do anything but movies. Not everyone can be cool actor, it happens, but okay, 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 okay. Well, in 1996, she won a Golden Globe Award for her role in the drama Evita. Okay, yeah. that's cool, but it doesn't take away the fact that she is a very bad actress.
the richest musician in the entire world has conquered anything but the movie world. Yes, it happens, not to say that Rihanna was disgusting in the role of her characters, but she looked like a nice addition to them. She could not reveal her character in any of her movies and there were three of them. All the movies were made qualitatively in irrelevant topics, but persistently failed with critics and audiences. Maximum Grey characters, which initially had to get death, is not the best thing that can be said about this actress, but nevertheless, it's not so bad. Actually, if you have watched her movies, so I have watched two of them, you can see that her role was not so disgusting, she is pretty good, very nice, but if you will watch the whole movie, then you will understand that she had just average roles and the depths of her roles were not enough good. But nevertheless, she is successful in her business, she is successful in the music career, it's better for her to make music and to build business and there will be nothing bad in her career, even except movies. <laughs> Here is a very funny story, but very sad for Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran always developed his music honestly and without any dirt. He is a very soulful and vulnerable person who achieved everything with his hard work and it's very cool. But the audience is an ungrateful thing that never appreciates and does not see the path taken by the artist. The guy decided to participate in Game of Thrones, but it turned out to be a f failure. Ed Sheeran's episodic role in season 7 of Game of Thrones brought a huge amount of negativity on social media. The barrage of criticism was so severe that the British performer had to delete his Twitter account. And this was only the boiling point of the artist because previously he had already thrown message against hating and trolling on other topics. With a quick look and the unflattering comments against Sheeran, one realizes that the motive of the trolls is more about the artist's ubiquity and his phenomenal popularity. Indeed, need to say that Ed Sheeran is a great musician, but he was not a great actor and it is not bad. Million of people that can be named as fans of Ed Sheeran and of also the haters didn't even try to achieve the results. I think that people are wrong here. So, like everywhere else. Thanks guys that you have watched my video and that will be very big pleasure for me if you put the like on this video and subscribe on my channel. I try to work very hard to make nice and interesting videos for you and hope that you will take part in developing of my YouTube channel. Thanks guys for watching the video once more. Be part of family. Be part of legacy.